Scorpio, hey, what's going on, you all? Scorpio, welcome to your love messages for the first 10 days of June 2022. My name is Antoine. These messages are going to be for all placements of Scorpio, including those of you who are dealing with the Scorpio. I want to apologize in advance right now for the quality of my voice. I am hoarse at this moment, so if it is a struggle for you to hear me, I'm sorry. <laughs> but we're going to power through. <clears throat> okay, so Scorpio, let's go ahead and get into your energies. What are the messages for Scorpio as we move into the beginning of June in love, romance, and relationships? Excuse me, I'm going to adjust the mic real quick just to make sure y'all can hear me. Oh, sorry. Okay. Messages for Scorpio. What's going on? <laughs> okay. I was like, all right. Okay. So definitely got ecstasy popping out. Okay. The first card we have is Secret Admirer. Ooh, Scorpio. Hey. Now, Scorpio, I definitely feel your energy with this a lot. You could be somebody's secret admirer during this time. You're feeling very, very attracted to an individual. Maybe you have not approached them yet. Maybe you are about to. Um, but for whatever reason, you're looking at somebody from afar. You're admiring them. Their beauty, their grace, their sexiness, right? Like, this person is, you know... <laughs> this person is the ish. You should take a big whiff. <laughs> Scorpio, I'm silly. Let's go ahead and pull some clarifying cards to surround this. Okay. Honestly, I'm not even going to front with you, Scorpio. I feel like there may be an energy of somebody being unavailable. And that's why you're having to admire from afar. It may not even be that you're afraid to approach them. It's just that, well, because Scorpio ain't afraid of shit, you know? <laughs> But I do feel like, um, yeah, some either you or someone or that person is just, they're, you know, they're unavailable. And they may be attached. All right. So let's go ahead and pull some energies, y'all. And I hopefully this doesn't turn out to be no third-party situation, Scorpio, because, child. All right. Let's go ahead and clarify. Look at this, the Page of Swords. Yeah, so somebody's admiring you, somebody's looking at you, Scorpio, or you are looking at someone studying them, okay? Five of Wands, okay. Maybe you and this person have had, I feel like maybe you and this person may have had words in the past, um, you know, or y'all may have had disagreements or competition in the past, okay? Hmm, that's interesting. The lovers, yeah. Okay. And then the sun. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Okay, I see it. I see it, Scorpio. So it looks like what happened was that this this was probably somebody that you dated before. Okay. Someone that you dated before. Um but then maybe they chose someone else or you chose someone else, okay? Because there was competition, there was other options, okay? But even since then, they still have been looking at you and they still have been, you know, checking up on you and stuff like that, trying to get to know you or trying to get to uh, get more information about you, I mean, okay? Um, okay, the sun here, I, ooh, Scorpio, I don't, I don't think that you're going to approach anyone until until you're absolutely sure, okay, that this person is available or vice versa. They're not going to approach you until they're absolutely available or to, or until they're absolutely sure that you are available. Ooh, justice card. So, oh, wow. Maybe, um, maybe a new opportunity here, Scorpio. Another chance. Maybe another chance to make something right. There could have been some, uh, a, a situation could have ended in conflict in the past. And since then, there may have been words unspoken or, you know, gifts ungiven or things like that, you know. And you 
might get the chance to uh, to do that again. I don't know. Or maybe somebody, you know, I don't know. I, I, obviously, everybody is not, you know, everybody's ex isn't returning. But I don't even feel like this is an ex. It just feels like it's just somebody you, you casually dated or talked to. You know, they were cool. But you chose somebody else. Or they chose somebody else. Well, they've still been looking at you, Scorpio. Okay. All right, we got a lot of cards that came out, so I'm going to break this down, all right? So we got the Two of Wands. We have the Five of Cups. We have the Star. Okay. <laughs> and, then, oh, and then the Knight of Cups. Hmm. And we're going to get to these in a minute, but let me try to figure this out, Scorpio, because this is a lot. Okay, so... Yeah, two of wands. Yeah, somebody chose, like I said, confirmation. Somebody chose a different direction, whether it was you or them, right? Somebody chose a different direction here. Um, someone felt a loss because of that. And they also had hope that this situation would get back together, which is why they've been hanging around, okay? And they may have messaged you or they may have, you know, from time to time. You know what I mean? Or they may be, you know, they may check up on you just to see, Scorpio, are you still available? Are you, are you still taking? Or, you know what I mean? Something like that. Like, they're, you know, they're checking because they want you. Or you them. All right. So let's go ahead and figure out what these uh, last six cards are. Jesus. Hold on. Because <laughs> I feel like this is about to be a whole nother reading. All right. Eight of Pentacles. Okay. Five of Pentacles. Okay. Ooh, the devil. Knight of Swords, the Fool, and then the uh, Knight of Pentacles. Okay, one second, Scorpio. Let me <clears throat> let me take a ganda. Hmm. Mm hmm It's a classic tale of, you know, um, <laughs> they didn't choose you, right? But then maybe they saw you with somebody else. Or then maybe the person that they were with, they started having issues, and so now they're coming back. To you, Scorpio, they're trying to bend the block back on you. You know what I mean? But I, in a way, I almost kind of feel you or the other person looking at it like, nah, keep that same energy, bro, or sis. You know what I'm saying? Keep that same energy. Okay? Because somebody is doing the spiritual work. Somebody is doing the physical work, mental work, working around the clock. Somebody's putting a lot of focus into making sure that they're not sad. Or somebody's putting a lot of focus um, into, uh, yeah, I, well, you know, I don't think that anybody, well, the only person that I feel is sad is the person who can't have who they want because they got to sit back and be, just be an admirer. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the energy there. You know, all they can do is look with the five of pentacles of the devil. All they can do is look. Knight of Swords to the Ace of Pentacles to the Fool. Um, they're going to try to date other people that's going to be like you, Scorpio, and it's just not going to be Scorpio. You understand? And they'll keep searching, and they'll keep looking. Let's pull some hidden truth, y'all. Because I'm curious as to what this person is thinking about you right now, Scorpio, because... Did I pull the, did I, did I look under the deck for the, I didn't. Okay, love grows. All right. We'll put that there, love grows. And then our last card under the deck is the two of swords. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> uh, you know what, Scorpio, I get the feeling that you just get so used to this person being in your energy or you get so used to this person showing up time after time, leaving messages, voicemails, da 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 It's almost like you're just like, all right, look, I'll go out with you. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, you know, if you can, if you're available to, all right? Um, so let's go ahead and pull the hidden truth. Let's see what they are thinking or what they're wanting to say, Scorpio. Okay, so they got, I love you unconditionally. Get the fuck right. 
Okay, I want to tell you how I feel. Okay, well, call me. You came closer than anyone. Well, if that was the case, then we wouldn't be having this reading right here. So don't even come up to me with all of this energy. <laughs> Do not even come up to me with all of this energy is what I hear somebody saying. You came closer than anyone. I want to tell you how I feel. I love you unconditionally. Hmm. And of course, maybe that message wasn't for everyone. Honestly, I don't even really feel like this message was really for those of you who are that involved. Like this feels like maybe, well, you may be involved with somebody else, but this feels like uh, you and whoever this reading is about, whoever the secret admirer is, I don't think that you were ever really that much involved. I think that it was maybe, you know, just a casual thing or maybe, you know, y'all was talking and just nothing came of it. But like I said, again, you know, they've been kind of lying in wait waiting on an opportunity um, <laughs> to to come forward to you, to tell you how they really feel. And that may, ooh, oh, okay, yeah. They may just want to just tell you how they feel anyway, even if this isn't somebody that's in, uh, involved or attached or somebody who chose someone else over you. I mean, if this is just a regular, if this is just a regular secret admirer, excuse me, um, that you just have no clue who this could be, um, this person really does have some strong, strong feelings for you and it's a little borderline dangerous. I'm not even going to lie to you. All right. Well, Scorpio, those are your messages in love for the first 10 days of June. Let me know how this is working out in the comment box below. I want to thank y'all so much for your time and your support, your positivity. It really, really is appreciated and valued. Okay. Uh, you guys, make sure that you come and check me out every day, all right? I do the dailies on the channel every day for you, okay? So if you want to get a quick daily message, all right, go, come on over to the House of Luminance, Scorpio. We got you, all right? So you guys take care.